and welcome back to another video this unboxing video is going to be super quick but basically 17 have reprinted most of their earlier albums and then one of the albums that i really really wanted to get photo cards for was teenage so i did a group order through this instagram seller for a set of 52 teenage photo cards that is the entire teenage photo card collection and i believe this is the small package that all the photo cards are in so I just want to go ahead and unbox this collection. Okay, I do believe that these are the photo cards because it is the correct size. And okay, let's open up this bubble wrap as well. It's packaged really, really well. So I'm going to be careful not to rip anything. Oh my gosh, and Jun is the first photo card in this stack. So, this stack looks so satisfying. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. It's packaged honestly perfectly. Like, this sleeve that it comes in is the perfect size as well. Okay, and we have the entire set. I am going to go ahead and arrange these into the correct uh, version and also member age order for each version. So just give me a little bit. Okay, so the seller has arranged them in the correct version order. So you can see that all the backs are the same, but um, I'm going to also arrange them in member age order. Okay, so we have them all in the correct order, and then the first thing I want to do is I want to do a close-up and go through all of these photo cards individually. I feel like I'm so privileged as a group order manager. The fact that I get to hold all of these photo cards in my hands for one time before I send them off to my group order joiners. So we have the beautiful white as coops. And um, I remember before the reprint, S-Coops and a lot of the other white version members, um, their photo cards used to go for around $120, $120 plus even. So sometimes they would go for really, really expensive. But I really hope that with the reprint, the price of these photo cards will go down a little bit. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go have a look at all of these photo cards and then the next thing that we're going to do is I already have um, a whole set of June teenage photo cards and what I want to do is I want to compare the reprint version with the first press version and see if there's any quality difference and I will be sure not to mess them up and I'll be sure to remember which one is first press and which one is second press. So I am really interested in the uh, quality of these photo cards compared to the first version because I have heard people say that the quality is a little bit different and then you can see slight variation and then that's how you'll be able to tell which one's first press and which one is second press. So out of these photo cards I will be keeping that white version one that you just saw 
and then I will also be keeping um, the next photo card. I will be keeping this beautiful white version Ming Hao. And the final photo card that I will be keeping, the third one, is this Mingyu. <laughs> this Mingyu first press was so hard to find. I remember he would go for $150-ish. And for me, Mingyu is not my top bias. And so that price for a photo card is really not justifiable. So I'm really happy that they reprinted so I can actually finish off my album photo card collection. Alright, this Sengguan was also a very high demand photo card. Some of these photo cards I have never seen in real life or in photos either. They're all so beautiful. Honestly, when I was running this group order, I was actually thinking of claiming the entire white teenage for myself, but I didn't. I just claimed three photo cards. And then the other thing I want to do is I also want to go have a look at the backs because some people say there's variation in the colors on the back. So I wonder if you can see any variation. So you can see the member, um, the member name photo card on the back. I don't see any difference in the the grayness. So it seems like this reprint, all of the photo cards have the exact same gray color on the back. So that is something interesting because I did hear that for the original press, um, they had slightly different shades of grey on the back. But yeah, let's have a look at the orange version now. So most of these ones are landscape. They are so beautiful. I think I would just go like this, flip them this way then. And just be aware that some of these photo cards do have some scratches on them because they are of a matte material. Oh my god, oh, she is so cute. So cute. Alright, so we got Woozy being unique and being portrait. I was also a portrait. And last but not least, we have our Macne Dino. So that is the orange version, and I think the orange version, the backs are also pretty much the same shade. All right, next up, let's have a look at the green version. So this is the back. And I feel like the green version is so refreshing and so romantic. I absolutely love these photo cards and I am so happy that there were around 25 to 30 group order joiners and I'm so happy that I'm able to help them complete their collections and I'm so happy that I'm able to send these beautiful photo cards off to them. I think, um, apart from white version, green version is the next most popular. And you can definitely see why. So beautiful, so scenic, 
and they're really unique photo cards um most photo cards are kind of just like selfies but these ones are so uh unique so interesting got a little mark there because these photo cards are matte so that can't really be helped beautiful Minkawa photo card as well so green version teenage I think they resell for about $30 per photo card obviously sometimes there's member pricing so depending on member could be between 10 and 30 40 dollars um but as I said before hopefully with the reprint they will go for slightly less oh someone is so cute Sungwan has honestly beautiful photo cards in this set. And Vernon has blue hair and he looks so peaceful. I was also really happy and surprised that actually all of the members and all 52 photo cards got claimed. And I'm really fortunate in that regard as well. Okay, so that was the green version. Now let's have a look at the backs. Just check the backs are all good. Okay, so it looks like I do see a little bit of different, like slightly different green color here. So I don't know if you can see on camera, but at least in person uh, between Joshua and Jun, there is a slightly different green. I feel like the June green is a little bit more blue tinged, or whereas the Joshua green is more like yellow tinged. Or that could just be me, I don't know. It's a very, very subtle difference. Not that much difference. I think uh, to most people you wouldn't be able to tell. It's only because I'm comparing all of the photo cards that you can tell there's a tiny, tiny difference in the green. All right, and last but not least, let's have a look at the Rose Quartz and Serenity versions. So these ones, the backs are like this. And I feel like here you can definitely see that there is a difference in the pink color. So some has like this darker pink and some starts with this lighter pink. Um, but I feel like uh, out of all the versions, Rose Quartz and Serenity is probably the easiest to collect. So I'm sure people won't really mind that there is a slight difference. Yeah, slight, slight difference in the pink color. Okay, let's go and have a look at these ones. All right, so we've got beautiful S coops. And Jonghan. Honestly, some of these photo cards I've never seen before. I feel like because I'm, I was so focused on collecting June, and then I never had the thought to collect other members. Um, that's why some of them, I didn't even look at the, oh, there's a pretty big mark there. It's a pretty big scratch there. Yeah, some of the other members, I didn't even look at their templates. I just, um, just collected June and then collected Wono and Mingyu as well. Sounds like grunge version. Oh, that's a nice side profile of Vernon. Okay, so that is it for looking through all the photo cards. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my four June first press photo cards and we're going to see how they compare to the second press ones. Okay, so these are my photo cards from my personal collection and I'm going to have a look at how these first press photo cards compare to the second press photo cards. So first off, I'm just going to put my first press ones up here. I seriously need to remember 
which one's first press and which one's second press. So just going to make sure that they're up there. And then I'm going to grab the Jun's from these piles. And I'm just going to put him on top like this for now. He goes this way. Alrighty, so let's compare one by one. I'm going to take out the first press from here. I'm going to hold the first press in my left hand. And then the second press one will be in my right hand. So let's compare. Just looking from the front, they look pretty similar. They are both matte. And the color is pretty much the same. I would say the second press one is a little bit brighter, like a tiny, tiny bit brighter than the first press. But honestly, if you just had one photo card and you weren't comparing, there really wouldn't be that much difference. The edges are also the same. I don't see any difference in the edges. Um, I think only maybe down here, if you can see the tabs, you can see that the second press version has slightly larger and slightly, slightly more visible tabs. There's like a tab here and then a tab here where they um, cut out the photo card from the mold. Um, and the first press one doesn't have those tabs. And I think that's it for the front. And then if you can compare the side here, you can also see on the sides there are no tabs on the side here, but in the second press one, there is a slight bump here, just here. And then if we flip over, you can definitely see that um, first press one has a much darker gray color on the back, whereas the second press is a little bit lighter. And unfortunately, I wanted to compare some other first press white versions, but I only have Jun for white version. But um, I think you can just take my word that the second press all has this grey back, whereas the first press will have sometimes different backs. But the font and everything is all the same. And that is the back. And then I also want to compare the thickness. So I don't know if you can see the thickness. Uh, I just have to go like this. Thickness is pretty much the same. Um, so that is it for white version. The big difference is just the tabs on the bottom. And then also the backs are a different gray color. Okay, now let's compare the orange version. Okay, so for the orange version, I will compare, same thing again, the first press in my left hand and then the second press in my right hand. So similar to the white versions, honestly not much difference. There's like not so much difference that I can actually point it out. And let's look on the back. Okay, so orange version actually doesn't have that much difference for the back. It's pretty much the same. All right, next version we're going to compare is the green version. So first press in my left hand and second press in my right hand. So I would say if you look at them side by side, there is a slightly lighter tinge to the second press one. Only slightly. And you can especially see it if I go like this and you focus on his face. And also you focus on the color of this wood block here. You can see that the second press one is slightly lighter and slightly yellower than the first press. And that's also consistent with the white version. The white version the second press was also slightly lighter. And I'm going to say that's pretty much it. Um, 
Oh, I would also say for this one, second press has a slightly uh, like shorter distance here from his pink hair to the top of the photo card. Whereas this one, the first press one has a slightly longer distance up here. So I think this part has just been zoomed in a little bit and that's why it kind of moved up. All right, and then let's look at the back. And the back, uh, the green is a slightly different shade. You can kind of see that the uh, second press one, on my right hand, is a little bit lighter shade of green compared to the first press. And I think that's about it. Interestingly, they both have tabs for this one. I don't really have much to say about the tabs. But yeah, that is the comparison of the green version. And then last but not least, let's compare Rose Quartz and Serenity. Um, so same as uh, pretty much all the other versions, the second press one, slightly lighter tone. You can see that it's a little bit brighter uh, in his face area and his hair area. And then another thing I would say um, that's noticeable for this one is you can kind of see that um, the first press one, the photo card is not as rounded on the edge, like the material doesn't go like round down, if you know what I mean. Whereas this one, if you just feel the edge, it's more like rounded. I feel like they cut it a different way. And also you can see the tabs on the bottom here. But main thing I would say is uh, it's lighter tone for the second press. And then um, ignoring the, the mark in the second press one, the back, I don't really have much to say because it's always ombre and ombre is always a little bit different. Um, but as I showed before with the OT13 set of Rose Quartz and Serenity, um, each photo card has a slightly different pink. So it starts with a slightly different pink. And I think that's the same with the first press as well. So yeah, second press, slightly lighter. All right, so as you can see, I've laid out all the photo cards and this is the entire 52 photo card set of Teenage, the entire OT13 set of every version lined up for you to see. So it's so satisfying to lay them out like this. Got them in uh, white version, green version, orange and rose quartz and serenity version. And then we go by age order from Lita to Macne. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out my other videos and also support Seventeen and buy their reprint albums if you want more photo cards. And that's it for the video today. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.